This is Brown, and today we're going to work on this Seagate Barracuda hard drive. It's buried in the carcass of a GoFlex home backup. The home backup was useful for us, but it's really slow. It's a 100 megabit connection, and um, well, it's not really upgradable, so it's time to take this apart. We've done this before just to see what's in here, and you can see all the chew marks from uh, my teeth. Now that's from the little spudgers and the, we used a lot of tools to try to get into it because there's no screws on that case. It's all held together with friction and clips. So let's take this puppy apart. So to do this, we need to get everything out of the way so that we have room to work. And we have to figure out where we're going to open well, duh, we're going to open it up right where it has all those chew marks. So let's see. Where are we going to start? Well, Mr. R is talking about how, yes, this is a SATA drive, and it is two terabytes. Come on. Let's figure it out. Yep, I'm right there in the chew marks. And uh, now we're going the wrong direction because this is like two halves of a clamshell. And we're working the wrong way with, this, with the little spudger. If you look at it from the bottom, you can sort of see where it needs to go the other direction and just start from the bottom, stick the spudger in there and slide it a little bit and you'll hear a... You gotta get it in there all the way though. There we go. Once it gets past a certain distance, they just start popping. There you go. That was very easy for us because we've done this before. We've broken the broken the little tabs uh, open before. But that's how you take it apart. Now all you have to do is get the chewy hard drive goodness out from uh, underneath. Little tabs. Yeah, that's what those are. Little tabs and little clips that uh, go together. You just got to friction this out. And then you got to take the little rubber gaskets and get everything out of the way. Because if it's in the way, we'll knock it over. Yeah, I know. We'll use that for something. We're not going to e-waste it quite yet. Let's see. There we go. Just start pulling these little tabs out. Little rubber gaskets. And now you'll have to pardon all the glare. They, they made this extra shiny for some reason. I guess that was impressive. Now we got to get a screwdriver. We have tons of screwdrivers. I'll, we'll go for the little one first. And, come on, let's get this puppy squared away. Pardon the glare. And, nope, nope, it's not turning. It's on real tight. Let's get another screwdriver. I know, I see a couple of them in there right now. There we go. Our trusty gas station screwdriver. Best $5 ever. There it goes. Just get them loose. Get them all nice and loose. I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. There we go. I really don't know why they put this big shiny metal case on here. It's not like it wasn't grounded very well anyway. I guess it was meant to be impressive. But just get these little set screws out. We'll be using those for something also. We believe in reusing everything we can. And once you've done that, just give it a little pry and a little slide, and there you go. You now have a two terabyte SATA hard drive to play with. We'll be using this on our um, HP server and um, using it again as a, um, well, as a uh, drive with two one terabyte partitions on it so that we can have a couple of backups on it. Kind of like what we're doing now, only with a full gigabit data connection. Much faster. All right, and there's a little QR code. I might look at it. It'll probably tell me some specs or point me to a website that doesn't exist anymore. But that's about it. That's how you do it. It's really quick except for all the frustrating parts where you're trying to figure out which direction to put the spudger and how hard to push and whether or not you're going to break things. Let me give you a hint. You won't break anything. Just push. 
and it'll pop. All right, so I hope this video was uh, helpful for you for, um, you know, if you're kind of like us and have ancient hardware and you don't want to, you know, just throw it all in the e-waste. And um, yeah, so until next time, I hope you had fun watching this video. Bye!